My favorite line of hers in that song is I squirted on him like a squid, now he inky face. Why does it surprise me when you find me? I don't usually collaborate with other vocalists. I've only done it one other time for my own music because I don't usually feel like there's a vocal thing that a song needs that I can't do myself, but there are obviously exceptions. Azealia Banks has been one of my favorite artists since I can remember. Um, I saw the 212 video on Rage and I spent a long time trying to find this song. And I was like Googling girl in Minnie Mouse jumper saying, I'm a ruin you <laughs> And eventually I found it and then I bought the album Broke With Expensive Taste. It was the first album I bought with my own money. So I've been an Azealia Banks fan for a really long time. A year or two ago, she did this live stream. What song should I listen to first? And she was saying to the live stream, this is this girl, Mulrat. She's got some really good music. And then she turns Charlie all the way up and she's like, actually, she's got some really fucking good music. And it was the coolest moment of my life. I messaged her and I said, I have this song that I think you would sound really good on. Can I send it to you? And she said, of course, babe, send it through. I just said, take free reign. I said, do whatever you want. I think it would be a huge mistake to collaborate with an artist you love and then try and impose your idea of what they should do. There's this video on YouTube that I love where it's this group of kids singing Listomania by Phoenix. When we were finishing off the production for Surprise Me, it just kept popping into my head. And so Styles and I figured out how to get the key right and the beat right and how to sneak it into the song. Here. When I set out to make this album, I didn't have a particular concept in mind, but I did know that musical textures that I really love are heavenly, ethereal, vocal samples and really aggressive, abrasive, distorted textures. For me, the best example of that is the producer Sophie. I think the aggression in her music is so powerful and inspiring. And I just wanted to like try and emulate even a little bit of that. So that's what I set out to do with the album. <laughs>